Hello all, welcome to CLAT Technologies and today in this video I am going to share you a big update from MuleSoft and Cloud Hub regarding the deployment targets. So if you are already aware of it, uh, then please comment out in the comment section below for this video because till now we have different deployment targets Cloud Hub 1.2, Cloud Hub 2.0 and uh, Hybrid as well. But now onwards from last one week uh, or so, so if you want you if you want to start your MuleSoft practice, if anyone created new account, uh, then you won't be able to access the Cloud Hub 1.0. So that is the biggest update for new MuleSoft learners. So you will see only Cloud Hub 2.0 and hybrid is the deployment options. So I will just show you how you can deploy your application into Cloud Hub 2.0 because Cloud Hub 1.0 is no more. Okay, right. So in Runtime Manager, if you can see, you can deploy any application. Obviously, you will export it as a JAR file if you are doing it uh, um, from uh, by exporting it. Okay. Test application now 24. And if you can observe here, see we, we have only Cloud Hub 2.0 and Hybrid. There is no more Cloud Hub 1.0. Cloud Hub 1.0 is no more accessible for new accounts but uh, you are if you if you have already any existing out, uh, account which is not expired so far within this last one month maybe you will be able to access it but uh, who is going i mean whoever going to create a new account in mulesoft the new trial account they won't be able to use the cloud hub 1.0 this is the very big update to anyone so how you can do that means if, if you have created new account and if you want to deploy your application you need to select cloud hub 2.0 and shared space here you need to provide the application name as usual and you can just select your application let me just it is not allowing let me just check once Oh, sorry, this is the design one. So yeah, let me just switch to sandbox environment because this is a new trial account which I have created. I didn't create any uh, my own sandbox accounts. So this is a new trial account. I haven't created any own uh, environment. That is why it is not showing. So while deploying your application, you need to set the sandbox if you have default environments you are using or if you are following our course, uh, you, you might be already aware of it like how to create multiple environments, right? So here you need to provide your application name and you need to select Cloud Hub 2.0. You, you won't be able to see Cloud Hub 1.0. Select Cloud Hub 2.0 and select the file by uploading it okay select the upload and uh, select the jar file which you have already exported okay and here you can find make because i have already created an application and i have exported it just uh, for, just to show you the uh, way to deploy so you need to select this jar file which you have exported and here you can see the release channel three release channels are there for now you can just select the default one only and default runtime is 4.8.1 okay and cloud hub 2 deployment uh, details i will be explaining in a separate video for now leave all the defaults so replica count means how many workers uh, uh, you want and this is a week over means um, i mean replica count and replica size Okay, in uh, Cloud Hub 1.0, we have workers and worker size, right? So just like that, replica count means workers, like how many workers you want to allocate for this particular application and replica size. For free account also, they are providing these many uh, details because it is a private space of uh, Cloud Hub, which we can use it. And you have two deployment models here, rolling update and recreate. Recreate means whenever if you are going to apply, uh, deploy a new application, it will be recreate for the first time. And rolling update means if the application is already there, it will update, re redeploy the application. So you need to select this. And you need to select the object store V2 if you have using anything. You can just click on deploy application.
so the duplication is being deployed So there are a delay in updating applications. Uh, you can, I mean, there is a, li a little difference between Cloud Hub 1.0 and 2.0 in order to access the logs and in order to see a couple of information. See here it is a target type is a 2.0 shared space and status it is not running. Now it is applying it and runtime version and every information you can see here. And to access the logs also, you can click the application name uh, and you can see the status and all here. And your endpoint will be this one. Okay. Now this time in Cloud Hub 2.2, you will see some some other information is appended to your application name. So 224 new till here my application name, right? Later on it has appended something which is related to the your private space. And here this is your domain USCA E2. This is related to the region which region we are in. So region and Cloud Hub .io. This is your endpoint URL. So you need to take this endpoint URL and you can uh, test your applications and all. Okay. Then in the logs also you can go to the logs section you can see the logs here so if you want to uh, filter out your uh, logs also you can filter based on different log level and different time range and all you can download the logs also uh, like here by clicking on this uh, icon you can download this log information also uh, in cloud hub 2.0 so here uh, it is showing uh, the deployment uh, times like how many if you deployed two times or three times in cloud have one dot it will be showing here for with the uh, log uh, time right in this space so cloud have two dot you can see this here that information you can see here how much how many time it i mean until what time it got deployed how many minutes ago it got deployed and all and by default it will be working with latest runtime only uh, 4.8.1 Okay, you can just download the latest AnyPoint Studio and you can work your application. You can deploy it in the latest runtime. See, now my application is got deployed. It is, to, it is uh, showing uh, running as a status. So, this is how you can access your application and access your logs. Even in object store also, you can access in this way. So, I hope this video is helpful to you. And uh, yeah, uh, if you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe our uh, channel and like our channel if you have any doubts in cloud hub 2.0 you can uh, comment you can ask your question in the comment section below i will try to clarify it and very soon i will be creating a detailed video tutorials for cloud hub 2.0 that will be very useful for you so stay tuned thank you thanks for watching